Holy Spirit, we love your ways. All your ways are perfect. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is like literally take three, which doesn't happen too often. Uh, almost never, actually. Um, well, it has never. This is the first time I've had, I've scrapped two different messages already. And probably because I just got a little too far out into the, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to say this though. This morning I woke up hearing that song, Holy Spirit, We Love You by Upper Room Spontaneous from six years ago, it says. Oh, I love that song. It just happened to be one that came up this morning and I played it, listened to it like two, three times. And then after that came up a random selected by YouTube Upper Room video from, uh, it says, nothing is holding me back, corporate set, Upper Room Tuesday, 3-5-24. And basically, this dude starts talking about communion, let's take communion. And one of the things I loved about uh, Upper Room is that they have up on the stage there, the altar, on both sides are these are boxes with communion, the little cup and the bread as one, you know, attached. So you open the top and you get the little bread and then you can peel back the communion, uh, the juice. And it's just there for whoever wants to take it whenever they want to take communion. I think that's a brilliant and beautiful thing uh, for any church to offer. And I loved that. And so anyways, today within the first, it's like an hour or six minute long set. And the guy is basically- and if you can with me, I'm just gonna ask you just all conversations to be done. All He's talking about taking communion. So he, he takes communion and I end up, I, I haven't, I hadn't taken communion in a while, honestly. And so I was like, perfect. I got, I got my uh, juice and bread here, you know? And so I ended up taking communion with the, them. And I was so moved during this, uh, taking communion with them that I was just in tears and really moved by the spirit of the living God. We come to meet weekly in this room, daily in this room. Mm -hmm. And I want to honor him in this meal set before us today. Hallelujah. And I will leave the link to this video if you, so I encourage you to, um, if you're, if you can, or you want to, uh, to take communion tonight or tomorrow, this was a great, uh, this was a great one to take it to uh, a great uh, song set, whatever it, he start. It starts off with this and then it goes into like an hour long, uh, song you know it's a you know upper room how they do but it was so moving to me and it just reminded me of the awesomeness of and how it worked out to where i listened to holy spirit that holy spirit we love your ways and just holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit of the living god and how it moved into this next one about taking communion and it really was an awesome start to the day and i wish i had just made a message right after that because it was just i was just yeah so moved by the lord this morning and it really started and blessed my day in such a great way uh yeah and so anyways uh thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah uh yeah and you know, just thinking about the Spirit of the Lord that is inside of us, the Spirit of the Lord, the, the Holy Spirit, as the Bible says, that is the deposit that guarantees, it's a guarantee of our salvation, the Spirit of the living God that is within us, that is within us. And it's that Holy Spirit, the, you know, the gospel is, it's offensive to those that are perishing. And I was reminded of the girl that works at the grocery store. There's a lady that works at the grocery store. I've mentioned her before. Uh, it, she's one. Of, she works at one of the uh, like health food places, which is like I don't go there a lot. Uh, but when I do, anyways, yeah. Um, I she looks like somebody you would never expect to have a Bible verse tattooed on her neck. Basically, she just doesn't look like what you would think is a, a believer. And 
the first time I saw her like a year ago, I looked while waiting in line to check out, I, I saw the tattoo and Googled it before I even got to her. And it was second Corinthians two sixteen. To though to one a fragrance from death to death. Actually the New Living Translation says, To those who are perishing, we are a dreadful smell of death and doom. But to those who are being saved, we are life giving perfume. We are life giving perfume. And so it's just like that spirit of the Lord that I don't know how this ties together exactly. And I'm just, I'm not starting over at this point. So it is what it is. Um, <laughs> somehow I just sense that that's the spirit of the living God that is within us. Uh, and the gospel, see, to those who are dying. For we are to God, the, try, if, if the, the one right before that, for we are to God the sweet aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing, to one we odor of death and demise, to other a fragrance that brings life. Hallelujah. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess, I, again, I don't know where I'm going with this exactly, other than the Spirit of the living God is awesome, and He is inside of us. That Spirit of the Lord that raised Christ from the dead is in us, who quickens our mortal body, Holy Spirit. And uh, yeah, thank you, Jesus. So I encourage you, I guess my whole point on this is uh, I encourage you to remember the, the, you know, the Bible says, do this often. He says, do this often in remembrance of me, communion, and just remember the power of it. And I would bet that if you do the communion with this uh, opening here, you will be moved and touched and blessed by the Lord. And, uh, and even if you don't, it's still an awesome set. I listened to a lot of it after. Uh, I want us to enter with reverence, not fear of man, but fear the Lord. This knowledge and wisdom and revelation that King Jesus made away mm -hmm. so that we can literally be seated with him forevermore in heavenly places. So I want you to hold your bread right in your hand and break it in half. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to play the whole thing. He goes on for about seven or eight minutes. Uh, but, I mean, I guess I could add it on after this. Just just copy-paste it. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe I will. Anyway, so I guess that's about it for tonight. I, I do wish I had just done a message. I had recorded this earlier today because I think it would have been a little... It would have been, well, whatever. It is what it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And either way, I pray the shalom peace of the Most High God be upon each and every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. Because God is so good all the time. All the time. There is no darkness in Him. He is the God of life, and that's what He gives always. Life. John 10.10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. I think that's the other song I have pulled up here. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Upper room person. Hey, what happened now? For the Lord God Almighty reigns. All right, well, it's a short one then, I guess. So uh, that was all. I just wanted to really just share, I guess, share my experience with uh, commun communion this morning and that Holy Spirit song really blessed me and uh, encouraged me greatly today. And so I want to share that and pray that, that it would bless and encourage you as well if you decide to do communion. And I will leave that video link in the comment section pinned. And yeah, you'll be blessed. So love you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.